In this video, we'll be discussing about Boomi flow and its implementations. This diagram stands out to be the business case for the video. Let me give you a quick overview about what we are going to demonstrate in this upcoming video. We have three different departments, marketing, quality analysis, and costing. The marketing user will update the product details under marketing department. After its completion, the costing and QA forms are made available. The dashboard on the top shows the statuses of the department and also acts as a center for navigation. The user will navigate to the marketing department and then to the QA and costing department. Once the marketing details are submitted, the QA or costing user can log in through their credentials and use the same dashboard to navigate to their forms respectively. QA and costing can be filled out in parallel and the final submission happens once both the forms are submitted. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate a working BoomiFlow module. We have used and configured existing SQL, Amazon S3 and hub services into this flow for data storage and retrieval. The hub service has been used to configure master data hub from Boomi integration for storing, review, the golden and quarantine records. We have also implemented Swimlims for user group authentication using Microsoft Azure as service for marketing, costing, and quality analysis forms as displayed on the screen. Let us start a quick walkthrough of the demonstration now. We have constituted three major modules into forms as you can see on the screen now. The marketing, quality analysis, and costing. The scenario is as such. The product champion who is user registered to use marketing form shall enter the details and proceed ahead to the SQ detail page. There he will enter the SQ details which has product details such as item code etc. And move ahead, he moving ahead he will enter the MDC details. The SQ data is configured to get stored as golden records which I shall show after filling the form successfully. Quality analysis and costing department are independent of each other. As soon as the marketing form is completed, the corresponding user shall log in as QA or costing user to complete the respective forms. Once both are completed, the whole process will get marked as complete. Let us continue with the marketing form now. I'll be logged in as test.marketing as this is a user I created in Microsoft Azure and put it under marketing group. As you can see, the display name of the user that got logged in is test and it is automatically viewed under the product champion test field. Let me enter the details to complete this form now. For business has code, there is a dependency on this radio button. As soon as I click on PI2M, I will be getting PI2M details as such. But when I click on NPD, as there are no NPD details, I will be displayed with no NPD details label. So I am clicking back on the PI2M details. We have initial department which is not visible now, dependent on division field. So when I'm selecting the division field, suppose to be 10 FBV test, the initial department will get displayed and I will have a corresponding data compared to the division now. If I change the division, 
to 10 FB. I will have initial department field showing my corresponding data. For the attachment storage, we are using Amazon S3 service now. Let me upload one file here. I'll click on upload. And as you can see, I am getting an acknowledgement that the file was uploaded successfully. It is marked as green now. Complete the status and I'll save and proceed. Here you can see I am into the SQ form now. I'll enter the test code for SQ. The material type is coming from the previous marketing page that I got selected. Here you can see I have a button called golden record. This create golden record button is because the SQ details will be getting stored as a golden record in the MDH. Coming to the MDC file, MDC form, I'll be selecting this. This item code is coming from the previous page of the SQ details. I'll save this form. Saving this form will give me an acknowledgement. The master entry for test brand name is now completed. Please wait while the QA and costing department approves the entries. I'll go back to dashboard. Now QA and costing forms are active as the marketing form is now completed. I'll run the process again. Now I will be logging in as a QA user. I'll use another account. I'll use Rupali's account to enter. After signing in, I will be displayed the QA page. Now the QA user will decide whether the QA activities are completed. I will check it as yes. I will enter some test comment. Mark the status as complete and save the analysis. Now I will be giving this an alert. Looks like costing section is still incomplete. So I'll move back to the dashboard. The whole process will not get marked completed until the costing and quality analysis is completed together. I'll now log in as costing user. Now I'm logging as costing user here. I'll use another account and I'll log in with Jyoti's account. This is the costing page that I'm getting. See, the costing user will decide whether the costing activities are completed. I'll check this box. I'll enter test comment and mark the status as complete and then save the analysis. Now, as the quality analysis form is, is so also completed, I'm getting this page. It says, congratulations, the details entered by you are saved successfully. This marks the completion of the whole process. As you can see, all the three forms statuses show as complete. Now talking about SQ details that got stored as golden record, I'll click on the master hub, then stewardship, and then golden record. 
here I will be displayed the SQ details that I have entered. All the quarantine records will fall under this category, under this menu. When I select quarantine records, it says no result as there are no quarantine records yet. Going back to the dashboard. So this was the demonstration of the whole working boom flow module. Thank you.